Namo Amida Bu. Introduction by Gans and John Welsh. I wrote these four new poems to thank and honour my teachers, Reverend Joshua Adrian Salir and Paul Roberts, as well as our Amida Dharma masters, Nagarjuna, Vasubandhu, Tan Ruan, Dao Chuao, Shan Dao, Genshin, Honan, and Shinran, without whom I could not have found and understood, in my case, to some small extent, Amida Dharma and my utter helplessness trapped in the endless suffering of samsara. Never forget these wise words from Tanisha by Yenbo. Quote, As I humbly reflect on the past, when the late Master Shinran was alive, and the present in my foolish mind, I cannot but lament the divergences from the true Shinjin that he conveyed by speaking to us directly, and I fear there are doubts and confusions in the way followers receive and transmit the teaching. For how is entrance into the single gate of easy practice possible unless we happily come to rely on a true teacher whom conditions bring us to encounter? Let there be not the slightest distortion of the teaching of other power with words of an understanding based on personal views. End quote. I hope these verses help others and motivate them to find a good teacher like Reverend Joshua Adrian Celia, listen deeply to Amida Dharma, and think and say, Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu. Thank you, Amida Buddha. Homage to Amida Buddha. I take refuge in Amida Buddha. Feathers by Ganson John Welsh. Our egos are like feathers floating futilely on the fast-flowing rivers of life, helplessly swept along by the strong current caused by karmic forces of blind passion, ignorance, folly, confusion and delusion. Our lives are wastefully spent pursuing worthless desires, stoked by the fierce fires of craving and aversion. Only Amida's primal vow can bring relief from pain and ceaseless suffering. So, entrust your karmic destiny utterly and completely to Amida Tathagata, and forever after, in great gratitude, say, Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu. Thank you, Amida Buddha. Homage to Amida Buddha. I take refuge in Amida Buddha. These verses were inspired by the following passages from page 112 to 114 of Reverend Joshua Adrian Salia's excellent book, The Meaning of Faith and Nimbutsu in Jodo Shinshu Buddhism. This is also why Amida promised in his 17th vow that all Buddhas will praise his name. By praising his name, the Buddhas are actually praising his primal vow, where saying of the name and faith is the method of being born in his pure land. We must clearly understand this. Quote, I understand that that which is called the vow that all Buddhas say the name and the vow that all Buddhas praise the name, end quote, the 17th vow, is for the purpose of encouraging the sentient beings of the ten quarters to entrust themselves to Amida's primal vow, the 18th vow. Further, I have been taught that it fulfills the purpose of bringing to an end the doubting thought of the sentient beings of the ten quarters. This is understood to be the witness of the Buddhas of the ten quarters, taught in the Mida Sutra. End quote. Quote, The light of Amida Buddha shines without exception over all the ten directions, and the innumerable Buddhas in the universe in unison praise the name of Amida Buddha. End quote. Not only other Buddhas praise Amida's name, thus encouraging beings everywhere to say it in faith, but they also work in many known and unknown ways to guide us all to accept Amida's method of salvation. Quote, To the evil sentient beings of wrong views in this evil age of the five defilements, in this evil world, the Buddhas, countless as the sands of the Ganges, give the name of Amida, urging them to entrust themselves to it. Being born in the Buddha land of happiness is the path to ultimate attainment of Buddhahood. All the Buddhas acclaim the pure land, for birth there is the unsurpassed means. Shakyamuni, Amida, and the Buddhas of the Ten Quarters, all with the same mind, are no more apart from sentient beings of the Nembutsu than shadows from things. 
Shinjin is bestowed through the compassionate means of Shakyamuni, Amida, and all the Buddhas in the Ten Quarters. Shakyamuni and all the other Buddhas are truly our compassionate father and mother. With various compassionate means, they lead us to awaken supreme Shinjin or faith that is true and real. End quote. Namo Amidabu. The Candle Flame of Life by Ganson John Welsh. Our lives are like a candle flame flickering feebly in the strong wind of samsara where, at any moment, it could be snuffed out in a second by a strong karmic wind gust, severing instantaneously all attachment to this saha life. So we must now seek and find, without delay, the way beyond all an unenlightened suffering. Only Amida's infinite love and light can lead us from the deep darkness of our night, of endless nightmares, worries, woes and cares, into Amida's pure land without blame and shame for our follies, faults, fears and tears. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Thank you, Amida Buddha. Homage to Amida Buddha. I take refuge in Amida Buddha. These verses were inspired by the following passage from pages 14 to 16 of Reverend Joshua Adrian Salia's excellent book, The Meaning of Faith in Nembutsu in Jodo Shinshu Buddhism. The Meaning of Sentient Beings of the Ten Quarters. This shows that the promise of Amida Buddha is addressed to all beings without any discrimination or distinction between them. All are the object of Amida's primal vow, no matter how high or low they are on the scale of spiritual evolution, and especially if they are the lowest of the low. Quote, Know that the primal vow of Amida makes no distinction between people young and old, good and evil. Only Shinjin or faith is essential, for it is the vow to save the person whose karmic evil is deep and grave and whose blind passions abound. The power of the vow is without limit, Thus, even our karmic evil, deep and heavy, is not oppressive. The Buddha's wisdom is without bounds. Thus, even those of distracted minds and self-indulgence are not abandoned. The heinous will be saved and the venal embraced by Amida Buddha. The bad will be saved and the good embraced. Those who will live far will be saved and those who live near embraced. Those who live long after Buddha Shakyamuni's entrance into Parinirvana will be saved and those who live shortly after embraced. The profundity and extensiveness of the great compassionate primal vow are beyond verbal description. Believe in it in the depth of your heart and validate the truth within yourself. End quote. Sentient beings of the ten quarters also means that the primal vow was made not only for humans, but for non-human beings too, like spirits, gods, etc. As we know very well, when Shakyamuni Buddha delivered his sutras, many non-human beings were present in the assembly, and it is also known that he went to teach the Dharma to God realms too. Shinran Shonen also mentioned that beings in all forms of existence can hear, whatever hearing may mean in various realms, Amida's message of salvation, and if they become open, entrust to him. Quote, when sentient beings in the various forms of existence throughout the Ten Quarters, on hearing Amida's name of transcendent virtues, come to attain true and real Shinjin or faith, they greatly rejoice at what they have heard. Beings born in the Pure Land in the past, present and future are not solely from this world. They come from Buddha lands throughout the Ten Quarters and are countless, innumerable, beyond calculation. End quote. Namo Amida Bu. Life in Samsara is like living in an infinite Sahara desert, by Ganson John Welsh. In this Saha world, we wander aimlessly lost in the trackless dunes and sands of an infinite Sahara desert, subject to endless births and deaths, and all evidence of our existence extinguished when we exhale our final breath. We ruthlessly pursue profit heedless of the terrible cost to ourselves and others, as all sentient beings are our sisters and brothers, fathers and mothers. But karma ensures that we get our just deserts. Only Amida's boundless grace and compassion will help us finally shed 
the heavy, heavy karmic burden of suffering from our beginningless past. And we know that at long, long last, Amida's primal vow will bring us to Amida's pure land. So reach out now for Amida's helping hand, saying, Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu. Thank you, Amida Buddha. Homage to Amida Buddha. I take refuge in Amida Buddha. These verses were inspired by the following passage in pages 17 to 19 of Reverend Joshua Adrian Silia's excellent book, The Meaning of Faith and Nembutsu in Jodo Shinshu Buddhism. The meaning of faith or Shinjin Nembutsu and wish to be born in the pure land, that is sincerely entrust themselves to me, desire to be born in my land and say my name perhaps even ten times. One who is sincerely in love will say I love you, often or seldom and wish to be with the person he loves. Similarly, a person who sincerely entrusts to Amida Buddha will express his faith by saying the name of Amida and wish to be born in his pure land. It's as simple as that. Feelings of love are automatically expressed with words of affection, just like faith in Amida will manifest as Namo Amida Bu, the Nimbutsu. Thus we can say that the Nimbutsu and wish to be born in the pure land of Amida Buddha are expressions or manifestations of faith. One who has faith or sincerely entrusts to Amida will certainly say his name and desire to be with him in his pure land. This is why Shinran Shonen said that faith or Shinjin is the cause of birth in the pure land and subsequent attainment of Nirvana. Quote, Through the karmic power of the great vow, the person who has realized true and real Shinjin naturally is in accord with the cause of birth in, in the pure land and is drawn by the Buddha's karmic power. Hence the going is easy, and ascending to and attaining the supreme great nirvana is without limit. Only with the diamond-like Shinjin can we, living in the evil world of the five defilements, completely abandon birth and death forever and reach the pure land of naturalness. The cause of highest perfect enlightenment or bodhi is faith. Although the causes of enlightenment or bodhi are innumerable, if faith is presented as one, it contains all the rest. End quote. According to the teaching of our school, genuine faith or Shinjin in Amida Buddha contains the following elements. 1. To accept the actual literal existence of Amida Buddha and his pure land. 2. To accept the story of Amida Buddha as told by Shakyamuni Buddha in the larger sutra. 3. To wish to be born in the pure land for the attainment of perfect enlightenment or Buddhahood. 4. To have the twofold profound conviction, Nishu Jinshin, which means to know that you're a person of deep karmic limitations, incapable of attaining Buddhahood through your own power, and that only Amida Buddha can save you through his vow power or other power without asking anything from you. To accept the primal vow of Amida Buddha without any doubt and be sure of your birth in the pure land. Six, to accept that birth in the pure land of Amida Buddha takes place after death. 7. To say the name of Amida Buddha. 8. To not mix Nambutsu and devotion towards Amida Buddha with other faiths and practices from inside or outside of the Buddha Dharma. The above elements are part of the mind heart of faith or Shinjin and will be explained in some detail in the next pages. They come naturally to a person of faith. Anything else, like having a focused and undistracted mind in your daily life, being a virtuous or non-virtuous person, Having special mystical experiences is irrelevant and not important in relation with faith of the primal vow. Namo Amida Bu. The Transience of Human Life in Samsara by Gans and John Welsh. Our lives are ephemeral and transient, yet most of our time is wasted and spent, struggling for money, position and power, ignoring or not noticing that with every passing hour, we rush ever closer to our final gasping breath, the final destination of all life in samsara, death. Before our flame of life burns out and it is too late, let us heed the warnings of masters past and great and decide to devote our precious time. Anything else would be a foolish crime to listen deeply to Amida Dharma, the only escape from our evil karma and the endless suffering of samsara. We must see through ego's false claims and pretense, and through Amida's great wisdom and compassion sense, 
the seriousness of our situation and terrifying future. So rely entirely on Amida's primal vow to ensure that we are reborn in his land that is perfect and pure. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Thank you, Amida Buddha. Homage to Amida Buddha. I take refuge in Amida Buddha. These verses were inspired by the following passage from pages 150 to 153 of Reverend Joshua Adrian Silia's excellent book, The Meaning of Faith and Nimbutsu in Jodo Shinshu Buddhism. Way to Faith, Listening Deeply to Amida Dharma What can we do in order to receive faith or Shinjin? We should listen deeply to the teaching about Amida's indiscriminate salvation until we understand it and accept it with our heart and mind. Master Renya said, quote, Regardless of our doubts, if we listen intently with our entire being, we will be given Shinjin because of great compassion. The Buddhist teaching begins and ends in hearing. End quote. So, in our tradition, listening to the teaching is the most important practice. You have to listen again and again, and one day you will become open enough so as to trust completely to Amida Buddha. The words we will be given Shinjin because of great compassion, shows that Shinjin comes from Amida, as I explained in the previous chapter. But the first plot, if we listen intently with our entire being, shows what we have to do if we wish to receive the gift of faith from Amida. There is a good poem on this. Quote, Uncover your cup to receive the Dharma rain, then faith in the Nambutsu will naturally arise. End quote. The author of these verses is Jason Rannick, an American Pure Land follower. If one does not listen deeply to the teaching, but is filled with ideas of self-power or keeps oneself under the influence of various non-Buddhist religions, he cannot receive Shinjin nor say the genuine Nembutsu, which is the natural manifestation of Shinjin. Faith and Nembutsu are not forcibly imposed on our hearts by Amida Buddha. So if somebody does not show interest in the Buddhist teachings, and especially in the teaching about the primal vow of Amida, he cannot receive Shinjin. Here are some examples of listening deeply to Amida Dharma. Think that solving the matter of repeated births and deaths is the most important thing in your life. Put aside all other Buddhist or non-Buddhist teachings, philosophies and opinions, and listen, reading is also listening, only to Amida Dharma. Put aside what you think you know and listen to what Amida Dharma has to say. Empty your cup or mind of your so-called personal wisdom and stay open to receive the nectar of Dharma. Consider that you know nothing and that Amida Dharma knows everything. Read the most simple and essential text of our school. Listen with a devotional mind and heart. Listen again and again, that is constantly, in the manner described above. Ask questions if you have doubts or if there's something you don't understand. Study the answers carefully and without hurry and ask again if you need to. Engage in a Dharma dialogue, not debates, with people who are already established in faith and who do not embrace wrong views. Think on the testimony of Shakyamuni Buddha himself and of so many wonderful masters like Nagarjuna, Vasubandhu, Shantau, Honen, Shinran, Renyo, etc., who accepted the existence of Amida Buddha and the reality of his salvation. Always ask Amida Buddha for guidance. Bow to him and say his name, even if you are not yet established in faith. No matter how many doubts you have or how awkward it might be at the beginning, find some time to sit with Amida Buddha and ask him for guidance. Give a chance to the idea that he and his salvation are real. You really have nothing to lose if you accept Amida's salvation. On the contrary, you gain everything. You will be born in the pure land at the end of this life and become a Buddha. Your suffering and the repeated births and deaths will be over and you will be capable of truly helping others, especially your dear ones. Please also meditate on what you have to lose if you do not accept the existence of Amida Buddha and the reality of his salvation. The chance you now have to be in a human body and listen to Amida Dharma might not be met in thousands and thousands of lives. So just give it a try and do the above things for some time. Namo Amida Buddha.